I have in my bag the Malconic EK43 coffee grinder. Now when this grinder was introduced into the industry around about 30 years ago, it was more of a grinder for milling spices and perhaps some coffee. But around about 15 years ago, it took our industry by storm. And since then, it's become the mainstay of most specialty coffee bars. Over that time, it hasn't changed a lot. They've made a kind of a shorter version. They've changed the color of it. But apart from that, it's pretty much looked ex exactly like you see on the bar next to me here. That is until now. Because they also have on the bar, the Malconig Omnia grinder. And this is a new, updated version of this classic. At the time of making this video, there are only 10 of these grinders in the UK. So I'm really lucky to get my hands on one of them. In updating this grinder, Malconig have really tried to stay true to the look of this classic. It's a bit more rounded in its styling. It's a bit less angular, but overall it has that kind of feel of being an EK. They've kept this really nice little kind of bag holder here. And it's also a place to knock out those grinds, which is a really useful feature. But they've also introduced an inner spout. And this inner spout is designed to reduce that static buildup that gets quite annoying. Now I haven't used this grinder enough to know how effective this is, but it seems like a useful addition. And it just slides in really neatly, really nicely into there. The on-off button is in exactly the same place, but it's a more rounded, more modern looking button. And the hopper on top, you know, this one now comes with a standard small hopper, not this huge hopper over here. Most of us single dose our EKs, we might put perhaps 18 grams through, we might put a small filter batch through. So we never needed this huge one kilogram hopper that came on the original EK. This makes a lot more sense. And they've kind of upgraded the little grounds tray that you have with it. I always found this one a bit small. Um, I also found that it, you know, you've got grounds everywhere. Hopefully this one's a little bit more effective and it slides into place with some magnets to hold it nice and snug just there. And the burrs inside are exactly the same as on the original EK over here, the, the burrs that we kind of all love. There's a new quieter motor unit inside this grinder. Um, and you can tell the difference here. So if I turn the original grinder on, it's relatively noisy. And if I turn the new grinder on, it's much quieter. And that's not necessarily a good thing because when I was using this at the roastery, with the background noise, I couldn't actually hear that the grinder was turned on. And I had to press the button a couple of times before it registered that, yeah, it was ready to grind coffee. But that's a minor point. The really exciting aspect of this grinder is the user interface just here. You know, this, this is the analog version and this is the digital version. It kind of still works in the same way, but you do get a reference to how far the burrs are apart on the front of it. And there are three modes built into the grinder. The first mode is what they call the classic mode. And basically it functions in exactly the same way as in the original EK. You turn the dial to set your grind setting, but at the tap of button, you can also do very, very fine adjustments um, up and down, really, really simple. And basically you'd be using the EK exactly as you would over here. The second mode is a timing mode. And basically you can set different recipes to run for different amounts of time. Now I think this mode is going to be used alongside some optional accessories they're going to bring out in the future. They're going to bring out a dosing hopper and a porter filter rest. And my gut feeling is that this timed mode will tie into those and allow you to drop specific timed doses of coffee, perhaps into a porter filter, much the same way as you would on a standard espresso grinder. The mode I found most useful and the most exciting is what they call the library mode, the third mode, because this allows me to preset recipes into here. So for different coffees, I can create different grind settings and set them in. And at the touch of a button, flick between them. The grinder will automatically adjust itself. So for example, my decaf espresso setting is quite fine. And if I tap on decaf at the touch of a button, the grind will automatically reset itself to a very fine setting that I've programmed for decaf. 
For filter, I just quickly go into here, tap on filter, and it will automatically, again, readjust itself to a coarser setting that I've calibrated for filter. I've enjoyed using this feature. I find it the most exciting part of it. And I think in a really busy cafe environment, people will find that very, very useful. I've not had much chance to play with this grinder. I've only had it for a couple of days and tomorrow it goes to a customer. This is my grinder. This I say goodbye to. And I'm a little bit sorry. I've a little bit fallen in love with it. Um, I need to find a reason to buy one. I need to find a reason to have one at my roastery. Um, a little bit more of a reason just because I like it. Um, if you found this uh, video useful or interesting, or it's the kind of thing you like to see from me, please give me a like. I would very much appreciate it. In the meantime, if you've got any thoughts, comments or questions, please feel free to get in touch. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.